Blockbusters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi, everybody. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. My pleasure. Monday, we've got, what is this, uh, 36 minutes into the new week. Ha! Oh, it's going to be a very important week in terms of will there be enough of a rally to get back to the previous highs, all-time highs? Uh, will there be a stalling process? Had a question about uh, the Chapman wave. I, you know, all I can say is I use the Chapman wave for specific reasons because it gives me the notation. It gives me it's an umbrella of a number of techniques. But basically, on the way up, it's the notations that count the P, D, E, F, what happens at that level. It's so important. I've done it with. I, I would say that I've probably got to at least a half a million charts, if not more. Over the period, I mean, throughout the day, I'm I'm notating from the one minute to the ten minute of the e minis. If I'm not trading it, I'm I'm notating it. Um, so all I can say is that I get questions. Don't don't mix up things when you ask me a question. Um, I had a statement saying that uh, Steve Rhodes had talked about um, money moving from uh, other countries into the United States. Um, you know, I deal with that. In we, we all have our techniques, and I, I love Steve's work. But don't mix things up. My Chapman wave is a Chapman wave, and when I say that the the S and P has made a leg B, and that in the Chapman wave methodology, that we should go to at least once you get a buy mode, and we're in a buy mode, a leg D. I don't mix things up. It means that there is a major bull market. I don't care whether, about international, national. I'm talking about the chart. And the chart. Let me just show you here. The chart is talking about the monthly chart is a leg B. We still have to make a peak B. We can't get a peak B until the earliest, the 31st of December, because it's a monthly chart. You can't talk about it unless you talk about the very end, the last minute of the last hour of the last day of the month. So it says that you have to get down the leg B has to make, let's just say, for argument's sake, 47, 18.50. We've, we've got a whole two weeks to go. So I don't really want to talk about in terms of there is going to be a leg B going to a peak B. I have no idea. What I am going to say is whatever the high is in September, whatever the high is in November, if there is no new recovery high or all-time high in all of December, if the entire bar does not make a higher high, it means you've made a peak B. If there is one penny of a new high in December, it means you've got to wait until January before you can get a peak B. Then you have to wait all of February to see if it goes to a higher high to make a leg C. Then you have to wait all of March to see if it makes a peak C. Then it's got to go to a leg D in April. And then May would be the earliest that you can get a peak D in the S&P. So that's the way it works. All right, just wanted to go through that to clarify. Don't mix things up. Uh, as I'm looking at it, you've got the Dow. Uh, the, the S and P is up five at 46.88. All-time high is 47.18. The MACD is just about to turn negative, but that's not the issue. The stochastic is way down at 80, 70 percent. I, I love 80 percent. I love the 90 percent that it was at uh, just a, a week and a half ago. It's now at 70 percent. The unbalanced volume is a little overbought at, at highs. But it's the nine period over the 14 period that I've said over and over and over again. And when I do this, the, the, um, this I'm, I'm the guest speaker for the Boston Investors Group virtual meeting tomorrow night at 7. You can go just go to the website. It's the Boston. Um, it's here in Boston. They're also part of the Investors Business Daily Group. This is, this is one part of that whole thing. Boston 
Investors Group Virtual Meeting, 7 p.m. <clears throat> I'm the guest speaker from 7 to 9. I'm going to be talking about the 9 EMA above the 14 MA, what, what it means, how important it is. You can get any technique you want, but until that 9 crosses underneath the 14 period moving average, you're not going to get a sell mode. You're just not going to get it. So in the meantime, even though we are short the Dow, about... 35, 40 points of the all-time high <clears throat> a week ago, the day of the high. Uh, yes, it's pullback. It's pullback, uh, you know, quite nicely when you consider it. It's one of the deepest pullbacks we've had since you go back to uh, the beginning of August, uh, October. Um, and that's all I can do. And look at this. The 9 is still above the 14. The MACDs turned down stochastics down at 53%. On balance pullback, relative strength is good, but not as strong as it was. Well, all we can do is use our techniques, and that's it's worked successfully for us so far. I'm not going to fight that. Longer term, we still have that call long from the, the very low, starting at the very low of March the 23rd of last year. I mean, how much better can you do than to get the day of the low and to get at least with the doji candle high of the 8th of November, try to get the very high? I mean, within 40 points, you just you do the best you can. And then once you get that, it means if you can get the turn, you've got a little comfortability. So I'm trying to answer this question because uh, although it's one of the only he's one of the only people that has asked me in this particular way to kind of conf conflate and convolute um, other areas, I'm saying the Chapman wave is that's what I use and I'm explaining what I do. And I'm going to say that this is in the monthly chart, you see the divergence we've got? In the monthly chart, we've got a leg E going right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in a monthly chart going back all the way to 20,018. Look at all those highs and look how it got, the price got repelled as it got into this Chapman Wave inside uh, track repellent zone. Will it break out going to the 36,900, 37,000 level? Or are we in the process now of making some kind of a consolidation that means you don't have to collapse, but you could go sideways for an hour? I don't know yet. We just go one time, one thing at a time, and one time frame at a time. In other words, I'm basing this. I remember we went to the 120-minute chart, and we had that double top, and then we that double top, pop to a higher high, we got an F and then a G, and that peak G in the Chapman Wave methodology right there on a Monday a week ago, I think that was a week ago, yep, the 8th of, uh, the 8th of uh, November at 11.30, we popped to 36,565, and look how we've come down. And yep, this is a gray leg B in the 120-minute uh, chart, days young, we'll see what happens, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that was an explanation, but I wanted to do that because it's a little frustrating because you can't take other things and other actions and try to make an implication. I mean, it's like saying, uh, this person said, the Fed, uh, I can't fight the Fed. I'm not fighting the Fed. I'm using the Chapman Wave methodology to do the trades. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Within that context, absolutely the Fed is important. But that's got nothing to do with the chart formations. Oh, I spend more time than I wanted to. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify that. This is what we're doing. This is what we're using. And so far, it's been working. Yeah, he's young. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman. Thank you, Tiff, Mr. Sauer. Dow's up 71. S&P's up 5. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. Uh, Dow's up 76, S&P's up 4. Uh, just before I forget, I've been hunting for, I, I, I had such a busy weekend uh, and I did so many stocks. I did uh, just a huge chunk of the Investor's Business Daily uh, uh, stocks that I like to follow. Uh, I, I did just many things, okay? And I actually was preparing for tomorrow night's, uh, uh, this is the online version of the um, Boston Investors Group. This is Big B-I-G. Um, I'm the guest speaker tomorrow night. It's on online, so uh, please uh, go to the go to the website. And uh, I wonder if I've got anything here. I've got this here. It says uh, <clears throat> upcoming events: Tuesday, November the sixteenth, twenty twenty-one, seven p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Boston Investors Group virtual meeting. Basil Chapman, I'm the guest speaker from seven till nine. Uh, this was a, a, about a, quite quite a few days ago, 54 attendees so far. Um, so just go to go, go to there and just Google it, and you'll be able to get it. Okay. So a couple of things I wanted. I had a, a question. Oh, uh, so what I really wanted to say is I didn't have a chance this morning just to review. I had a cu couple of questions coming on Friday that I couldn't get to. Uh, I did answer some people um, during the weekend, and then. Uh, over the weekend, and I'm trying to hunt for them. I don't see them. So if you had a question, just please shoot me an email uh, right away. I'll get it. I'll check and I'll make sure I get it before the end of the on, uh, before the last segment of the session. And don't please don't forget Wednesday. Larry Pesavente is going to be doing his all day workshop. Uh, well, it's almost an all day workshop, but it's uh, I think nine to two. Should be fantastic as always. What can we expect from Larry? Nothing but the best. So this should be a wonderful opportunity. And a question I just had was Snap. Could I show Snap? You see, when a stock like Snap Inc. has this huge gap down from whatever reason, it made a peak. Do you remember the Chapman wave? Peak D's are where we look for something else to happen. When it went to a daily peak D at about 84. It went uh, pulled back sharply, ran up nicely to peak A, peak B, great peak A, peak B, but below that previous high of uh, the 24th of September at 83.34. <clears throat> and then there was news, and it must have been terrible news because not only did it gap down from the 75 area, it gapped down to the 60s, and then it could not, not one bar has gone above the gap down high of the 22nd of October at 50 at 60.78, and the previous day 
the low was 73.89. And then it went to a low, you know, my rule of three, when I get gaps to the downside or the upside, well, this just completely defeated the rule of three. It went lower, lower, lower. And now, yes, this is in grade A, B. But I love stocks that gap and then fill in the gap very quickly, just steadily, not quickly, steadily moving higher highs and higher lows, fill the gap, and then don't even look back to the gap. That means not only was that gap a false move to the downside, it means that it's old news and it dealt with the old news in the most severe way. And now new news is that it's making high highs. This is not looking that great. Now, if you've got a short term trade and you got in in the 54 or so area and it's trading at 56.44, I would just put in a stop have a trading stop and let it take you where it's going to. Yes, if 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 it didn't have the gap, I'd say, hmm, this is not bad. We've seen a couple of stocks uh, do that or uh, ETFs do that lately. But then a lot of them have given back some. So I'm looking at this and saying, I like the action today, but it's just one day. And that weekly and monthly charts is, wow, be really careful. So treat it as a trade. You might turn out to have made, to gotten the, the best of the best by getting in at this level. But believe me, when it hasn't gone to a new a breakout over the gap high within three bars, it means something else is going on. So just be a little careful. Question I had about team, I'm going to do any, whatever questions come up. I'm doing them now because I've done my overview uh, many times over the last week. I haven't changed much much of anything yet. Team made an all-time high. <clears throat> this is Atlassian Corporation PLC made an all-time high at 483 483.13 on the 29th of October. 483. Did I say 33 or something like that? I'll fix it up. On the 20 on the 29th of October. And hasn't been able to do anything. It's acting quite poorly. And this is what I was saying to subscribers over the weekend in my uh, overview for my subscribers to my opening call newsletter. I said We've got to be a little careful because even within sectors that have been on fire, you've got stocks within those sectors that are just not not doing very well. And here we are at ICM Corporation. Team is is, is the uh, is a symbol T E A M trading down ten and four thirty four. It's not a big deal, but it's a big deal now because it's making lower lows and lower highs. And I suspect. It, this is design, development, license, maintenance, software. Uh, this is an Australian company. I happen to have met uh, someone. Who I, my wife and I were in Australia visiting my brother January of last year. And by chance at, at a dinner table, there were guests of my brother. Uh, this couple was sitting there were talking. Oh, they said, oh, your son's in Brooklyn. Um, our son has just moved to Brooklyn. He works for this company at Alassian Corporate. Alassian, I said, hey, I said, Wait, wait, wait. Does that have a symbol T E A M? Yes, yes, yes. And they're chatting away. Anyway, so I, you know, I've had this on my radio for a long time. We never actually got along, even though I loved it. Now it's doing consolidation. Talk about a gap. It's the exact opposite of the gap of Snap. Look, it had a gap, a beautiful trade, peak D pullback in the daily chart back in late October, pulls back uh, on the 28th. It goes down to 410 after being in the 430s. And then there's news, and the news is spectacular because not only does it go from the close of 417 on the 28th, it spirals to 483.30. What did we say? It was 31 or something? Uh, 13. Um, on the very next day, very next day, and what does it do? It spirals up. It can't hold the gain. Pulls back sharply and then starts uh, lower lows, lower highs. It starts to fill in the gap. It hasn't filled in the gap. There's a huge gap, right? It has to go down to the 418s or something like that. It's at 435. So this is the exact opposite of saying on a short to maybe even intermediate term, we've got a peak G in the weekly chart. We've got a leg E in the monthly chart. But a peak E in the daily chart at 483.13. Trading 50 points lower right now. That's what 11% or so. That's a problem. Probably has to do some backing and filling. Keep it on your radar for later on in the year or early next year. I think it starts another move up. All right. Mm -hmm. Question 
Uh, good morning. Oh, I just had a look at team for GBT, GB, uh, GB Tamper in the den. I hope that helped you. Uh, let's just have a look now. Um, Sophie has been talking about Sophie. I don't know how you pronounce it. Sophie's training at 23.86 SOFI, up a dollar 13. Sophie Technologies Inc. member, digital financial services with mobile applications. I'm not sure what that member is there for. Um, doing very nicely. It's out of this. The month is still young, but so far it's broken above that downtrend line in the monthly. It's in a leg D, a long leg at Doji Candle, leg D in the weekly. It needs to close to. to to break the Chapman Wave long legged doji candle uh, technique, it needs to close decisively above the high of 24.65, made last week in the weekly. And then it says, you know what? Great action, because now you've turned this little doji candle open and close around about, uh, about 1985 20 level. It's absolutely support. But if it pulls back, closes under 22. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you, Nick. No, I, I just need to have a clarification. That's why I started off talking about don't mix things up. Cap wave is the chap wave, and all the Fed and everything else is... is, is, is something we look at but thank you very much for your comments um so a couple of things here so in the den crowd was mentioned uh crowd strike holding cyber security i it's just an absolute mystery to me uh why we haven't seen the cyber sector being absolutely on fire fire eye on fire um 
But uh, what I can say is that uh, it's done well. If you look at Hack, H-A-C-K, uh, where did I put that? Uh, let me just do this first. CrowdStrike, Cybersecurity, made a double top. Look at this beautiful double top that was made. Went to a peak G in the chat wave around about the 298 level. And now it's trading 256 cap down. Obviously, they didn't like something about it. Weekly charts still within a trading range, but it did make an F. And only a peak C in the... Uh, a leg C or a peak C in the monthly chart? This will be a leg C. Leg C, so still looking out. Um, this is uh, this is a very important place. Uh, look at Hack. Hack made an all-time high just a couple of days ago. So that was peak B. And that was peak C right there. Right there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a peak C1 or C2, but it's a little peak C at an all-time high. Usually you don't make a peak C and fail at that level. Uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology, it was at an all-time high. Yep, all-time high. And a leg E in the weekly chart. And is that a D in the monthly? Who? The Dow and the... No, it's a leg C. So this is, means that even the cybersecurity hack is a symbol for the ETF. 6634 cigar, 39, 5 cents means this is still leg C. So hack is a prime cybersecurity ETF, um, all time high just a week or so ago. And now it's just pulling back a little bit, probably because of uh, CrowdStrike. Um, so we're looking at this. this is an area that I consider to be a place that you want to be in. We are not in. We've had it before. But we aren't in now. The next big pullback is what I'm looking at to see if subscribers need to get in for the more intermediate term. Uh, so far, it's looking absolutely fabulous. A question I had, let me, oh, I wrote, this one I did write down. Uh, Viv, this is a stock I've actually followed on and off. For years, I think I have a friend that 30 years ago uh, had worked for the company. If this was one that had a Boston office, but I'm not sure if it is. Viva Systems, I think it could be. Um, anyway, uh, it made a peak D in the weekly. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. You see this pattern right here? First of all, my question always at the stock or the, the chart is to say, how the heck does the chart know to stop? fractionally lower. Look at this. One, two, three, four. This will be the fifth week that the price has fractionally gone lower to make an absolute perfect trend line. And this is how you draw trend lines from the 343.98 high on the week of the 6th of August with a round number low of 328. I'm going to talk about those um, at some point, maybe today, tomorrow. Um, how how does it know to stop there and pull back? How does it know about the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone? I mean, give me a break. This is just, I have a theory, and I talk about the theory. I cannot give you a scientific other than an emotional level. And that says that this is, think of a boat sitting in the harbor and it's low tide. Low tide goes to high tide. It's exactly the same boat, but the boat has gone from here to here. Now is high tide going to low, low tide? The boat is just in exactly uh, uh, looking at it on a uh, uh, looking at the stats. The coordinate never changes, but it goes from here to here. It goes down. That's the tide. And all I can say is that this has gone into low tide, making low highs and low lows in the shorter term, shorter term, but in the mean intermediate term from that peak D top all the way to the 270s low. And then it had a big rally, which was more an emotional counter rally. And now the true colors of the inner workings, the mechanism says it only has X amount of energy left and that energy is waning. That's the tide. And it's waning at X percent every week it's a weekly chart every day therefore that same amount of energy is seeing the tide lower the highs but the tide hasn't broken for the lows so watch it at some point because if this takes out 301 to to it's at 316 at any point in the next two weeks if it takes out 30 let's just start off with 307 
as support. And then let's say all of a sudden that energy that allowed it just to try to make slightly higher highs and it couldn't and made in fact slightly low lows is waning. And now there's an acceleration to the downside. And it also says that it's, maybe it's using usurping energy. If you look at the weekly to the daily chart, a sideways move to build enough energy to suddenly spike above this trend line. So I like to do it. I was going to talk about music uh, when I went to on Thursday, my wife and I went to uh, at 10 30 in the morning i can't believe we did that um live rehearsal of the boston symphony after watching the boston symphony chamber players the sunday before fabulous fabulous musicians um and i wanted to talk about timing and a whole bunch of things I, i'll 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 set that up for some other time it's, it's important because it talks about the timing People have, have said to me for years well you're a professional musician how on earth do you go from music to uh, the stock market, and I said, timing. Both of them rely on timing. So that's all I can say. So Viva Systems, I just wanted to show you this as an example. I, over the weekend, as I was working, how it's so remarkable. Look, these tiny candles, and it stops dead right there at that resistance. And even today, try to get to over 319.34 was the high. It tried to get just about 50 cents about 30 cents higher, so you could touch the line. So far, it has. We've got a whole week to go. Let's watch it. Viva System, VEV, -E down 121 at 316.46. All right, now let's go on. I'm going to go back now. I'm going to use the 120-minute chart. I've used that last week. People said they got a lot out of it, just not only for the Chapman Wave methodology, but just in terms of looking at charts in a different way. So the time frame I'm looking at here is a 120-minute chart. Let's go. We've got the Dow. Uh, I... NDU made a peak G top at um, 36.565, on the 8th of November. Uh, we got a sell signal, uh, just a very short term sell signal, and it has pulled back. You've seen the 120 minute chart go from the peak G down uh, to a, a trough D. Now it's trying to rally. The technicals are trying to turn around. The MACD hasn't yet crossed positive. And the stochastic has rallied from under 20 percent to the from the teens to 39 percent. That's okay. It's just not great. But the price is the price, and the price in the nine period moving average in the daily is holding beautifully. Look at the S and P. Oh, I wonder if I've got this one. No, yep, I do. Made a peak G on the uh, I think it was the fourth or the fifth of November. It's pulled back. It's done very well. And you see this little right here. You see this uh, Chapway falling exclamation. It's gone just above it. In leg C, in the 120 minute chart, we're going to be watch this, watching this closely. The QQQ, NDX 100, uh, made a PG as well with a little doji top, pulls back, and now it's, it's working very hard. It's not doing all that well. I'll be back in a moment. Bowser Chapman. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So let's just continue doing this here, the QQQ. Uh, we're looking at a peak B in the uh, a leg B in the 120 minutes after the Doji candle uh, high on the fourth uh, of the fifth at the 400.99 level. I still at the moment still calling this a peak C in the in the daily chart. Uh, everything about it, as I said before, said it looked like it's acting like a peak G, a peak D. I don't know, but I'm calling it a peak C. I could call it a peak C, C1. It just failed to, to accomplish uh, the chance that I could officially in the Chapman Wave methodology without any obfuscation, without any subterfuge, without any changing something that isn't there. Uh, I don't like to do that. I'm, I'm very strict about my rules. I'm even strict about the alternate rules. And here the alternate rule says that if this second bar after the peak D all-time high of 400.99 just made a fractional high ab above the day before of 399.62, which is uh, 399.63 instead of uh, 399.57, I'd have no qualms. I would have said peak C1, C2. Now we can we can have some kind of a, a pullback in the queues. I mean, I can feel a little bit better about it, but so far, no, there's residual strength. I don't want to fight, but I'm just telling you real quickly, if by Friday... The QQQ has any day that not closes, but just on a daily basis goes under 389. It says, you know what? Yes, we are consolidating. That can continue for a little while longer. So in the meantime, it's holding quite nicely. Looking at the IWM or IWM, here's the 120 minute chart peak D. There's a Chapman Wave instant restart. Went to a doji candle D right there on, uh, that was on uh, November the 8th, I believe, same as the Dow. Monday a week ago, pulls back, not acting very well, and a peak F at 244.46, and a leg D in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly. I'm watching the Russell 2000 really closely for a couple of clues. Uh, could you put, yeah, I did I did put the 120-minute chart. Now, the TLT, I just want to do this real quickly. The TLT is plunging. A dollar forty down at 145.93. I don't say plunging lightly. I say plunging because it made this high at a peak E, a beautiful peak A, B, C, D, and it gapped up, filled the gap, but it went all the way to 151.77. Yeah, 151.77. I forgot to type that one in. 151.70. How many times over the, the last, just not days or weeks, but the last year and a half have I been saying, isn't it incredible how charts have been over weeks and months, they pull back from a certain level and then pull back sharply and then go back to within pennies of the previous high. 151.79 was a high of September the 26th, 22nd. It slumped down to 141. This is a TLT, the Lehman 20-year Treasury bond fund, on the 11th of October. Kaplop. And then it has a beautiful buy signal to a buy mode that goes to this leg E and then a peak E at 151.77. And that was about a week, maybe uh, Friday, 
No, a week ago. And then what happens? It pulls back sharply and now it's at 146. And this is the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. I'm always nervous about that because that can accelerate and continue. So we've got to watch this for the yield. So this says the 10-year TNX, if I can ever find out what the, what the issue is, why it jumps to the back screen. I don't know. But look, the 10-year is in a leg B. This is the 10-year yield. It's at 1.609, 16.09. Here it is, gray leg A, gray leg B. If that stochastic at 56 can rally sharply and the MACD crosses positive, it's still negative, that's going to give it enough impetus to try to test the previous high just under 17, 1.7. And you've got the, the leftover um, weekly at the background here with the one to one to the upside breaking out of the Chapman Way falling axe formation, targeting 17.18, something like that, 1.718. And now look at this. You've got A, peak A, and a peak B, and, a, and then a, a peak B, peak a leg C. We're in leg C in the 120 minute chart, and the technicals are improving 94% in the stochastic. I just don't understand what is going on here. I don't know if this is trade station or me or my, my system, but it's not lifting off the mouse quick enough to get to the next letter. Probably me. Um, anyway, in a buy mode in the 120 minute chart, and that's the, uh, the yields, the tenure, which is so important to almost everything car loans, whatever it is, housing. Uh, all I can say is that uh, we got to watch this very closely. All right. Next thing I want to do is um, I did that. I did that. All right. Let's go to gold. GC gold. He has a 120 minute chart. A rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. Look at this from the high at noon on the 10th of November, somewhere around there. It's gone sideways in a re narrow rectangle formation, peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, and it went to an E, and it's pulling back. So gold's having a high-level consolidation. Very nice action after breaking. Look at this. The Chapman Way falling upside down, falling X resistance. It went right through it. So that's saying that gold is more in play now, and now I want to go to... Uh, I, I'll have to do this quickly. Silver... Silver is in a leg E slash B in the daily chart. It went higher than that left side high. That is important. Just let's lift that up there. There are in a leg B in the weekly. It's starting to improve a lot. It turned the 200 period moving average of 24.62 into support. I do the dollar quickly here. Dollar, dollar, dollar. The dollar is a, a peak C if there's no new high today. I should go to a D and then I might digest gains. This is what I wanted to show you, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin, I think, is making some kind of a short-term top. It's done the left side, right side price time match in the cup formation in the weekly chart from the 66,310 level to the last high. I forgot to type that in. Of 69,355. I should say that we're still long. A, a portion, 69,355. Um, and uh, this is great. But I think now it's going to start a digester phase, meaning gold could be a little bit more uh, same on the weekly, yes, leg D on the weekly, do the cup formation on Bitcoin. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, cup and handle. <clears throat> there is a chance of a cup and handle here. It's not my favorite pattern. Uh, the investor's business daily has spent 40 or more years talking about cup and handles, but you've got to handle it, handle the handle in a really specific way. I don't like it. I love the Chapman Wave. Uh, cup and ladle breakout formation that says you go through the previous high, preferably a peak D, and you're now in a new leg C, and that says you can still go to a D. This one's sort of fading a little bit. There was a chance that it could do that. I, I'm just looking at this. The technicals are not all that great yet. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, in the day, weekly is very strong in Bitcoin. So I'm just saying, I think that Bitcoin is stuck. Maybe it can go to 71,000, but I wouldn't be surprised if over the next three weeks, we're looking at Bitcoin stuck in a range between 70, 71,000 and 61,000. Uh, just that this is what I'm thinking right now. That could change, but that's what I'm looking at. Same thing with Ethereum. Uh, <clears throat> Ethereum peak F <coughs> could be an instant restart. It's not acting like that. So I'm saying that, yep, and a leg D doji candle in the weekly ETHE, 45.37, down 40 cents. So I just think it's kind of stuck. Beautiful action, but it just needs a digester phase. <clears throat> the question I saw, where did I see the question? Uh, question, question, question. Oh, radio show, there it is. Uh, radio show question. 25, two weeks, sorry for the mistake. 
uh, radio show uh, QS. Okay, let me do QS as soon as I get back for the final segment. Basil Chapman Dow is up 120. SPs up 550. A little divergence there. QS is Quantum Scape. Beautiful action. I think about it when I get back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So just real quickly, uh, Gigi wants to know about uh, Quantum uh, Scape QS. Trading up 377 right now at 42.54. Lovely action. Look at this daily chart. I just wanted to say that this has this cup for huge cup formation that's very much like gold. Anybody remember the XAU back in 2000? I think it was December of 2000. It made this it had made this multi-year cup base and then it broke out. I love that breakout. And this says I'm targeting it's at 4260. It says within the, by by uh, December, it should be testing the 50 to 53 area. Uh, of course, it could do that by tomorrow. But I'm just saying, this is the way I use the left side, right side price time match. It's acting very well. It has key support in 35. This is in play. Absolutely. I like this very much. Uh, Quantum scape. Next generation solid state lithium metal batteries for EVs. A uh, couple of quick questions here. So I, I let me finish this up. Crude oil. Remember, we got that exact high. And we had the SCO, the 200% short. We took profits. We got stopped out. I still liked it, but I just didn't want to play games, which is a pity because that was exactly what I should have done. Stayed with the trade. Look at that peak E that was made around about the 9th of November. Look at this. Plunges down from the 84s. 
and it's down at the 80 level. Uh, it's just sideways consolidation action. This is crude oil, which was really starting to move very sharply. So that's crude oil. I wanted to finish up now. Let's see, I did that, did that, did that, did that. Oh, so let me just talk this once, one more time about the VIX index, because that is part of what we're looking at. The volatility index made a PD on the 10th, I believe it was, of November. And now what we're looking at is within the context of it's just off 20. It's come down to the 16s, and now it's bounced to 16.88. Watch this closely, because if by the end of the day, there is a move in the VIX index towards the 17.22, 17.60 area, rather than the, the, uh, the 16.30s, that is we're starting to see some selling come in and some insurance. That's all it's going to be, is insurance by fund managers trying to get a handle on risk. That's all. Have a wonderful session for Larry Pisamento. Don't forget, Larry's got his webinar coming up all day, ready for now. Wednesday. It should be wonderful. We'll program all day. Safety.